I remember in the mid 80s, the late 80s, the early 90s, fajitas were the king shit of any Mexican restaurant or cantina. And you were paying top dollar for that skillet. It was $29.95. You were feeling pretty proud paying that price. Whipping hot oil or hot butter was added to the oval skillet as it was going out the kitchen into the dining area. So you hear that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Will this thing burn through this wooden platter on which it sits and continue burning through the table and go into my crock where it will continue burning for several hours? Fajitas got their start during the earliest days of the Great Depression. In South and West Texas, uh, cattle would often be slaughtered to feed the ranch hands. Throwaways like cow heads, entrails, and hides were often given to vaqueros as part of their pay. One throwaway cut was the lowly skirt steak. The ranchers would grill it, slice it, and put on warm tortillas. 1969, this all changed when an Austin meat market manager, Juan Antonio Sunny, the Fajita King Falcon, started serving them at concession stands where they became wildly popular. It picked up steam at rodeos, fairs, and festivals throughout Texas. Suddenly, guess what happened to the price of skirt steak? Dwee! Ben said that if poop ever becomes valuable, the poor will be born without buttholes. And if this should happen, and you're poor, and you happen to have a butthole, expect to have a landlord come knocking on your butthole, wanting rent for your butthole. Butthole rent's due! I could just sear off this steak in a very hot skillet, let it cool and then slice it. But I decided to slice it really thin against the grain after it's been in the freezer for just about five to 10 minutes and then marinating it overnight with some oil and chili and spices. It really didn't gain mass appeal till the early 80s when the Hyatt in Austin, Texas, it was called sizzling fajitas. Soon every Hyatt was serving fajitas. This once slowly peasant street or backroads field food. Fajitas soon began to evolve or devolve, whichever way you want to look at it. They also began using tender cuts of meat like sirloin, and you'd see chicken and shrimp and peppers and onions and mushrooms and pico de gallo and salsa and guacamole and sour cream served with fajitas. It really became a smorgasbord. Then Taco Bell and Jack in the Box entered the picture, and but things got does. worldwide. I will not sing happy birthday to you at all. Eat the fajitas and shut the hell up.